All right, in this problem, we're going to go ahead and find f minus g of x. So really all we're going to do is take this expression, f of x, and subtract it from the expression g of x there. So the first thing we're going to want, we're going to, want to do here is multiply these out. So as you can see, I've written here f of x, and then I'm just going to use the FOIL technique in order to simplify this. So as you can see, that gives us 30p squared minus 12pq. And then we'll distribute this q over here as well. And this is the expression. Final thing we'll do here is just combine these two and simplify. All right, so this is a simplified form of the function f of x right here. So the next thing we're going to want to do is find out what p plus 3q is squared. So this is the expression, just we've expanded that exponent, the square, and we'll go and figure this one out as well. So we've got p squared plus 3pq, and then also here we've distributed the 3q to get 3pq plus 9q squared. Now to fully simplify this, we'll combine the two terms with pqs, and there we have it. All right, so if we write these... Uh, just above and below each other, just these two expressions, f of x and g of x, as they have been multiplied there. We can see that if we write these in columns, where the p squareds are in their own column, and pq is in its own column, and q squared as well, then we're just able to subtract these two expressions. And so the coefficient there of p squared is 1, and we're just going to subtract everything right away. So... In other words, uh, another way to look at this is, let's go ahead and get rid of these parentheses. We're just going to change all the signs. So instead of having a plus 6pq, it's going to be a minus. And instead of plus a 9q squared, we're going to change that one as well. And then we have the minus 1p squared there in the front. So we'll just subtract these coefficients, realizing that since these are all like terms in columns, we can just bring down the unknowns, the p's and q's there, the p squareds, q squareds, and pq's. And then we're just going to subtract all the coefficients of each of these individually. So 30 minus 1 would be a 29, and negative 7 minus 6 would be a negative 13. So remember as well that the coefficient of each term is going to take the sign to its left as the operation of addition or subtraction. Then we have this negative 2 minus 9, which is a negative 11. So this is our final expression as it turns out. And that's pretty much all we need to do right here. We've subtracted f and g, uh, g from f, or f minus g. Uh, and some, some of you may have professors that want you to write that in the front. So you'd write, for example... As you can see there, f minus g of x equals 29p squared minus 13pq minus 11q squared. Well, thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful for you.